Mask Singer fans, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and it is Friday, October 18th. You know what that means. Every Friday, we like to reveal someone new for you, and then we go through the clues, the pitch correct audio, we compare it, we give our guests, we answer the clues, and then you guys decide whether or not you agree or disagree. And hopefully, by now you realize that um, we usually get them all right. So uh, that being said, I asked you guys in my video yesterday, which was a recap of the prior episode, which pretty much was asking, who do you think is going to win Group B? And then later I asked you, who do you think I should reveal on Friday? Which, funny enough, both of those answers that you guys gave was Wasp. You're going to reveal the Wasp. It was actually, some people said it like a threat. It wasn't like a, you should, no, you're revealing that Wasp. We need to know. And I'm happy we're doing this because the second that the Wasp started singing, I went, oh, I know that voice. I know that voice. How do I know that voice? Because he had such a big career during the time that I was in high school that his music became the soundtrack to a lot of my uh, high school memories. And so that being said, let's go through the clues and then the pitch correct audio. So the Wasp had an ambassador and it was Neo who was on season 10. And I love Neo. And Neo clearly has a very big relationship with whoever the Wasp is. He says, I think it's about time for my boy, the Wasp, to enter the game. I've known him since he was fresh on the scene and he gained huge success by taking my words of wisdom. So someone who he clearly molded and helped and is still helping today. I think he's got what it takes to snag the gold mask trophy, just like I did in season 10. That's right, you had that charisma and that swag and the ladies swarmed and now I think it's time for you to go out and do what you do best. I think you can be the buzzer to beat. You get a buzzer because he's a wasp? I actually got stung by a wasp in Ukraine. It wasn't fun. Actually, the mark is still there. Then we had the wasp come out and say, I mean, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. There was no reason I should have made it out, but I learned to dig deep and fight. My career turned into a hive of activity. Hive? You know, bees? Anyway, we're talking the biggest screens and stages in the world. Then we had some visual clues. We saw comic books, a light bulb, Mars, boxing gloves, heart balloons, and then it was time for the sport clue. His were wasp-like sneakers. They say that because it looked like a hive on the sneakers. And he says, well, Nick Cannon, fresh kicks help me stay on my game. There's two clues there. We'll talk about that in a second. But now it's time for the Pitch Correct Audio. If you don't know what that is, every week we have these clue packages. In the clue package is a real celebrity speaking, but Fox is smart. They do not let us hear the real voice. Because if we did, you would know who it is. So they take the audio, they speed it up, they pitch it down. Then they give it to us and you're like, well, who is that? I can't tell, but you can. Thanks to me. I do the Pitch Correct Audio. I take the audio, I slow it down, I pitch correct it. Then you can hear the real celebrity voice. And in the case of The Masked Singer... We're going to do it right now for the Wasp, and you will hear a voice. Now, it's not long, because he only spoke for a little bit, because Neo spoke for the other half. So, here's the original audio, plus our pitch correct audio. Take a listen. I mean, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. There was no reason I should have made it out. But I learned to dig deep and fight. Boxing gloves. Was he a boxer? My career turned into a hive of activity. We're talking the biggest screens and stages in the world. I mean, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. There was no reason I should have made it out, but I learned to dig deep and fight. Boxing gloves. Was he a boxer? My career turned into a hive of activity. We're talking the biggest screens and stages in the world. So who do you think that is? Who? Are you thinking Mario? Yeah, baby, that is so Mario. Let's compare the pitch correct audio to him doing an interview and then the singing. Okay, we'll do the Wasp and then Mario. Take a listen. I mean, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. There was no reason I should have made it out, but I learned to dig deep and fight. I respect it. Thank you, brother. From my point of view, ding, 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 ding. We have a winner, baby. That sounds just like him. And the worst part is that the whole time he's performing, I'm like dancing like, you should let me love you. You let me be the one to give you everything you want. 
Any. He sings it too high for me. I always sing it low. Actually, we can make that really jazzy, right? What are the words here? Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. No, I know. It doesn't sound... It actually doesn't sound any better. Anyway, that being said, let's answer all these clues. First is Neo and Mario. Two clues right there. First is that song, Let Me Love You. Neo wrote that for him. And it's his biggest song ever. On top of that, Neo and him are also touring together at this very moment. So two clues right there. Then talking about the Wasp entering this game. Yeah, once again, he wrote the song for him. We saw him growing up in a very tough neighborhood, Baltimore. He grew up in Baltimore. That is, that is tough, my friend. Then he talked about how he turned his career hive into activity and all these things and stages and being all over the world. He's toured everywhere and he's been in a lot of movies from Step Up, Freedom Riders, and then was in Rent Live. So that's big right there. Visual clues, Mars. He's an EP that's called Closer to Mars. Balloons, we saw a thing that refers to love, heart balloons. Well. You Should Let Me Love You. Boxing Gloves, there's a couple of songs that relate to that as well. The sports clue, though, I think is the biggest thing. We've got two clues out of it. He mentions the cannon and the shoes. He has a song that's called Nike's Fresh Out of the Box, but in season three of the Scream Tour, who did he open for? Nick Cannon. Woo! Nick Cannon. So he knows him. That's why he called him out Nick. Nick. Nick Cannon. And then the extra clue I just want to give you because it's always good to know. The executive producers of The Masked Singer are the same executive producers for Dancing with the Stars. So, when you see that someone might be on Dancing with the Stars, and they could be on this, or they were on Dancing with the Stars, you would assume that they're on The Masked Singer and Mario was on Dancing with the Stars. Anyway, let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section below, and be sure to follow me for more. See you later, guys. Bye. And on a complete side note, as Group B is still kind of in the beginning, who do we reveal next? Bluebell? Chess piece? I mean, Goo is always a fun one. I think that's a fun costume. I think Goo might be like going head to head with the Wasp. I don't know. See, this is where I need you guys to come in. What do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comment section below again. I'll see you later.